Hello everyone, today I've got something a little different than my previous redstone builds. Over the past week I've been messing around with Red Power 2, the new computers and frames, as well as of course the old bundled cables, jacketed wires, integrated circuits, and all those other fun Red Power 2 items. Together, I've been able to create a fully working, fully automated elevator. I think it's pretty cool, so I'll hop right into a demonstration here. If I walk on in, the first thing you'll notice is this indicator panel. It tells me which floor the elevator is on, and seeing as how the green light is lit, and the sign below it says floor 1, I can determine that the elevator is indeed on floor 1. If I hop on in, choose up or down, we'll pick up, the doors will close behind us, and when we arrive, reopen. The indicator light changes to reflect the elevator's current status, so seeing as how we're on floor 2, and so is the elevator, the light says just that. If we hop back in and press, how about we choose down this time, we'll see that the doors again close behind us, and when we arrive, we're free to leave. This indicator light is shown across all floors, and the doors are closed when the elevator is not at that specific floor. However, this call elevator button allows us to bring the elevator up to us. So, we are on floor 3, the elevator is on floor 1, but if I press this button and wait patiently, You'll see that in no time at all, the elevator arrives at our floor, and we are free to go up or down. Now this button is dynamic, in the sense that it can determine whether it needs to bring the elevator down one floor, or up, and this is best shown on floor 2, because if the elevator is on floor 3, and we are on floor 2, we need to bring it down one, however if the elevator is on floor 1, and we are on floor 2, we need to bring it up one. So currently. Floor 3, I'll press this elevator button, this call elevator button. Wait patiently one more time. And the elevator determines that it does indeed need to go down one floor and meets us right here on floor 2. If I hop in and choose to move down again, same old, same old, doors close, we arrive, doors open, lights reflect the status. But if I fly back up one more time and press this call elevator button again, the system will determine that it needs to bring the elevator up one since it was last on floor one, which will indeed meet us at floor two. That's about it for this video. Next time, I'll try and delve a bit deeper into the, the computer programming aspect of these fourth Red Power 2 computers, as well as the actual redstone behind this. It's not too complex, but it's certainly compact. And if there's enough interest, I'd be more than glad to do a full build tutorial. It'll certainly be a bit advanced and a bit, uh, a bit long, but if there's enough interest, I'd be more than glad to do one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.